tab. Block and reinforcement tab, this shows that the units and the jigger that's available for a design. The block type up here, we click on that. For Cornerstone, we have the Cornerstone products, which are the SRW products. Uh, Cornerstone 100, Cornerstone Positive, Cornerstone 200, uh, the freestanding unit, and landscaping products, the Forest, Frog Stone, Mirror Stone, and Stone Ledge. So we pick a product. We pick the units. We want to design with a Cornerstone 100. The GeoGrid list is going to show up. We'll pick StratoGrid. We have five total connections. It may pop up and say that you don't have primary reinforcing selected. If not, it'll take you to the GeoGrid property screen. We pick a primary. Most cases, you're going to be designing walls with one GeoGrid. Uh, so we usually pick the lowest strength. Or for taller walls, maybe we pick higher strength geogrids. So we go from strongest to weakest. And you can press the save grid selection button. That stores it in a file. And when you come back to that page, next time you click on it, you won't see that pop up again. If we were to go into the Magnum Stone product, we can see the Magnum Stone. Magnum Stone is a wet cast concrete product. It's two foot deep, two foot from face to tail. It's four foot across the face and two foot from top to bottom. So we have a four square foot face area available. We have our secure lock lugs on the base, which locks positions one unit to the unit below it. The unit below it, it would hook in behind there. Gives us a two inch setback per unit. And again, we pick um, our units in here. We have a, a six inch solid cap, a 12 inch top cap, 12 inches from base to top. So it'd be 12 inches down and we'll, we'll see a recess area in there or we can have a 24 inch top cap. And then our standard unit is the unit as shown. We have jiggered reinforcing. If we pick a Mirify, it comes up. We don't have any, so we're gonna just design with a 5T this time. And um, we can see how the strength compares, the connection strength compares with our gear grids. 5XT, 7XT, 8XT. 10 XT is a little different shape. We have more strength up here, but we have lower strength down here. Just interesting when you're designing with the unit. Uh, if we go to the Magnum Stone gravity products, these are gravity walls. You know, typically, um, there's no reinforcement associated with it. It's gravity. We have extenders which hook at the back of the unit and then extend out to give us more design depth. And we increment those at two foot increments. There's our, our standard unit, standard 24. If we look at the, a gravity design, you can see um, that all 24 inch units and below the the top two units were not stable. The red is indicating we're failing and overturning. If we go back to block products, we choose a 48 and a 72. That's a six foot deep unit. Now we do a gravity design. Let me pick my batter here at uh, 4.8. I do a gravity. And now you can see because we have deeper units in here, we're good on overturning and we're good on sliding. If we were to go back and just try to do with a 48, you can see our bottom unit is failing in overturning and it's also failing in sliding at the base of the products. And there's a lot of choice. We can keep adding. We've gone up to 216 inches in here. That is a big block. If we can look at 20 feet, 
uh, with a one inch, two inch batter, do a gravity design. You can see we have a 20 foot high gravity wall with a 12 foot base. What you're going to see when you do gravity walls is our base to height ratio, depth to height. We're going to target minimum is going to be about 35 to 40 percent. Once it kicks to that, it goes to a larger block. We can see down here, we're down to a 43. It kicked to a 96. It went to a 44. It kicked to a 60. We go back and we eliminate those bottom two. We do a gravity design, 44. It kicked, kicked up there. We'll come back. I'll take the 44 out. I'll do a gravity design. There we go. At 44%, it's passing. At 50%, it's not passing. It's failing 1.37. It's failing sliding between the leveling pad and the foundation. That gives you an indication of the gravity design uh, based to height ratios. If we go back to uh, Magnum Stone All, where we show all the products, there's our GeoGrid. The Magnum Stone Standard has connection data. Now we can go back and design. That's it for choosing the products. Let's move on.